Hallelujah. One, two, three, four together. Lion of Judah, we worship you. Lion of Judah, you bamboo. Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah. We worship you, Lion of Judah, and you are holy, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah. We worship you, Lion of Judah, and you are holy. Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, we worship you, Lion of Judah, you are holy, Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah, we worship you, Lion of Judah. Mboli Shikara badadu sakayada We worship you Great I am We worship you Spirit of the sovereign God We worship you O oh, Lion of Judah Somebody worship God Lift him up Lift him up Hallelujah to the Lamb of God In Jesus name we pray Revelation chapter 5 Say glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Say glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Revelation chapter 5. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back sealed with seven seals. Say seven seals. Seven, seven seals. seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, For is worthy to open the scroll and to lose its seals. Who is worthy to open the scroll and to lose its seals? And no one in heaven or on the earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. Hallelujah. Amen. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open the, and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold the lion of a tribe of Judah. A root of David has prevailed to open the scroll and to lose its seven seals. Hallelujah. Amen. Behold, do not weep. Behold the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. Say the root of David root has prevailed. Say has prevailed. Has prevailed. To open the scroll to open and to lose its seven seals. And I looked and behold in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures. And in the midst, in the center, stood a lamb, say a lamb, a lamb. as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes. Say seven horns. Seven horns. And seven eyes. And seven eyes. Which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and he took the scroll out of the hand, right hand of him who sat on the throne. Hallelujah. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamp, each having a harp and a golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Say the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood. Out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And have made us kings and priests to our king. And we shall reign on the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Begin to thank God for the word of God. Your word, O oh Lord, is living. Your word, O oh Lord, is living. And your word is active. We thank you, Father, for your word. And the Holy Spirit has taken over. Thank you for the word. In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, the anointing and the impartation already is the impartation of the lion of the tribe of Judah. 
praise the Lord. Amen. It was not the absence of the molten calves that has dwelt in us and molten calves that we have formed a spirit of self until we repented of it. And the Lord took it off and we kanyangad it until the lion of the tribe of Judah came down and the surely baptized us with his anointing. He is holy. The lion of Judah is holy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so kutubutu. And so that the mambu yaku iraisishi. A tompan ikitu raisi. Tompan iku kuambia mungu mungu. Ni mekosea hapa na hapa ni samehe. Hallelujah. Amen. And so kutubu ndio mungu akulekete. Ya pili, cry to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, locate me. Locate my generations. And when I talk about the lion of the tribe of Judah anointing, people think it is only revelations. It is the lion of Judah taking over. He's a base setter. He is a base setter. He is domineering. And things he will say and revelations he will give are not normal. Amen. They are crazy revelations. Amen. Very crazy revelations. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we deal with a personality that is holy and righteous, the Lion of Judah is holy and righteous. Amen. Glorify somebody. The Lamb of God with me say, I glorify you, Lord. Glorify you, I Lord. give you power. I give, I you, give, power. give you all the glory. I, give you all the glory. I say all power, all, all, all power. glory all and glory. dominion belongs to you. Thank you, Jesus. Say blessings, blessings honor, honor, glory, glory power, power, riches, riches and, wisdom. and wisdom. Strength and honor, strength and honor belongs, to belongs to you. Thank you, Lion of Judah. Thank you, Lion of Judah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I love the singing, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah songs. Because one day I discovered it gave me victory. And where things are very tough, very tough. And I cried to him as the lion of the tribe of Judah. He comes down and he has helped me. Amen. I have seen the lion of the tribe of Judah physically severally. One day, in two years ago, I was waiting for the Lord during Easter. And I knew Easter is a time of visitation, is a time of Passover. And it was Passover. And I know that Jesus visits. I humbled myself and I asked my people, please, we all know that he visits during Passover. And he has been coming differently and so differently. I told my people normally during April, especially April and May, April and May, we don't go anywhere. We wait on the lion of the tribe of Judah. We wait on Passover gift. He visits. I discovered it and it is also the word of God. That Passover is a time when the children of Israel are celebrating and commemorating when they came, hallelujah, out, when they destroyed their enemies and when they came out of Egypt. Passover, praise the Lord, Amen. is a time in the book of Exodus chapter 12. God Almighty was not killing the righteous, but God was sparing their lives. Amen. And through the blood of Jesus, applying on the lintels and their doorposts, they were spared. Exodus chapter 15, chapter 12. I knew God visits during Passover. The first visit, hallelujah, I saw about Passover. It was 28th of March, 20, 2015. It was not 2015, 2013. Hallelujah. Amen. And it was a Thursday. Normally, when it is Good Friday, on that Thursday, it is Passover for the land of Israel. Mm. So, and this is what happened because a woman of God wanted me to go to their home to celebrate Passover and I was like, I, I don't want to go to Karyobangi. I am just tired of the jam. In morning glory, when I was in Nairobi cinema, instant, instantly, I found myself like I am watching a cinema. Not a video. A video is a small thing. A cinema and a and the screen was very huge and very large. And it was not like a screen. It was, a, it was just a cinema, a very big thing. I saw, the first thing I saw was, I was seeing the rugged comment that Jesus Christ putting on. The rugged comment that Jesus put on. And I never knew it was the comment, old rugged cross comment. I never knew. I saw a comment and it never looked like a comment until it was fitting human being. 
I saw the old rock coming. And it was full of blood. It was matope and blood and matope. And it was fresh blood. I'm like, Yuck, where am I today? I tried like, surely, what am I seeing? And I was kneeling down. And I saw the comments that Jesus Christ was putting on during the time of crucifixion. You know, and the comments must came, and the comments were very dirty. And I, I believe it was a rainy season when they were crucifying Jesus. Why? There was too much matobe. And the, the, the comments was full of matobe in red blood, red blood, and blood, and blood. I am like, Lord, what am I watching, Almighty God? What is going on? When I saw the comments, I felt so terrified. Instantly, in the comments, I looked again, and when I looked again, I saw a very tiny, slender man looking like an Arab. A looking like an Arab. You know, Arabs and Jews, they look the same. If you go to Egypt, Jews and Egyptians, they look the same. In fact, praise the Lord, Arabic Amen. or Arabi is spoken in the land of Israel. Two languages, Arabi and Aramaic. Aramaic is spoken in the land of Israel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or Hebrews. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, and this man, slender man, was slender. I would I would see the 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 the, the, the face, and I'm, I'm like, before he showed me the face, I saw a very big like a cross. The first cross of Jesus Christ was a tree, a very big dried hide, hardwood tree, cut together and put together. But the the, the tree was so huge. And the tree was so huge, it is not what people put Jesus carrying as a cross. Imagine the tree was so huge that Jesus Christ was literally carrying a very tall tree that was, he was pushing and it was very huge. It is not short as a grave that you see. Very huge tree that was cut across and put together. A tree. You know a tree? Yes. Aiku Katwa Simbao. Iyo tree am kombosi, very hard, a headwood. And I was like, mutu anafurta, anafurta tree nani msalaba. And I was lost with words. And I would see the comments that I was seeing, uh, fitted on this young man, and that looked 30, 33. He looked 30 or 33. And, and a young man that looked 30, 33, and the man was pushing this huge tree that was a cross. And he was pushing and, and falling down. He was pushing and falling down. As he was pushing and falling down, I started weeping. And I'm like, Lord, where am I today? What is going on with my life? Pushing and going down. Pushing the tree and falling down. And they were whipping him and whipping him so much. And people had surrounded, surrounded, like the way the old Israelites were looking. But the comments was surely having reddish blood, namatope, and it was very dirty. But it is white comment, the old rugged cloth. Comment. Is as Jesus as as he was pushing down and coming, I say, Jesus, is it you? Is it you, Jesus? What is happening? Instantly, Jesus looked at my eyes. The young man who was thirty, between thirty and thirty-three, I would identify. Let me just say thirty-three. I call him number thirty-three because he comes to me uh, severally, and when I see three, three, I know he is visiting. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth looked at me with piercing eyes, and the eyes were Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. Let's, let's go to the, to, the, to the picture of Isaiah 53. I looked at him, 
And he looked at, at me and I still see his eyes up to now. I see I still see your eyes, Lord Jesus. I see the eyes that you were having were full of rejection. I saw your eyes were full of rejection. I saw eyes that were full of sorrow. And so sorrow. And I didn't think, Lord, you looked like that physically. And many people depict you as a very fat, I saw a slender man. And when I looked at you, Jesus, you had no comeliness. There was no beauty in you. There was no beauty in you. I saw you. You opened my spiritual eyes. And this is what I saw about you, Lord Jesus. This is what I saw about you, Lord Jesus. Isaiah 53. And this is what you have written in your word. Who has believed our report? Who has believed our report that we have seen him? That we know him, the Lord of all glory. That I show you on that cross. And it was not a cross. It was a huge tree that was cut together. A dried tree. And you were carrying it. And it was so huge. And the worst bit of it is. What I cannot uh, never forget. Is not a blood that was in the comments. What I can never forget are two things. I will never forget the eyes that I saw. I will never forget those eyes that were rejected. And those eyes that were full of sorrow. I have never seen a human being or a man in this planet at Lord Jesus. That carried that kind of sorrow and rejection. I have never. I have never seen it. And that is why I rather preach to you personally. Because you understand what I saw. I have never forgotten the piercing in the, in the huge nails, not small nails, that was going through your left eye. And it was left, leaving my heart with cracks and cracks. I have never forgotten, Lord Jesus. I will never forget on that day of 28, Passover or 2013. Mm. Passover is a reality. It is a reality. He told his people, always commemorate and celebrate Passover. Because it is a day of atonement. It is a day of atonement. It is a day of the blood of the Lamb. It is a day of protection. Do not always forget to take the Holy Communion. He said, remember me always. Remember me always, as you take the Holy Communion, you always commemorate Passover. You celebrate Passover. As you take the blood of Jesus and you take his body, you always partake of his Passover, of Passover. You commemorate the blood of Jesus Christ. And the blood that protects, the blood that saves, the blood that forgives, the blood that sanctifies, and the blood that forgives. So this is what I saw about you, Lamb of God. I saw Isaiah 53. I just want to preach to you today, Lord. Because I can identify with rejection. I can identify with rejection, but not the magnitude. Maybe I can identify with rejection 1% or 0.0001%. But rejection you went into, hallelujah, was rejection that no man can describe. It is indescribable rejection. It's a worsely believed our report. And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? What is the arm of the Lord? What is the arm of the Lord? When you speak about the arm, where is the arm? Is still this bad? Is it this bad? The arm of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We all know the hand of the Lord. What about the arm of the Lord? Where is the arm of the Lord, sir? Where is your arm? My this arm. Is the, arm. This is my arm. the whole of this is your arm. Yeah. You call it the hand, also. You call it the hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So, thank you for, for, for that English. They call it a hand. So, from here, down here, it's called the arm. It is also the hand. And to whom has the hand of the Lord been revealed? To whom has the hand of the Lord been revealed? How does the hand of the Lord look like? And the Bible says, and the right hand of God is power. How does the hand of the Lord look like? 
into whom into whom has the hand of the Lord been revealed to whom to whom has the hand of the Lord been revealed and the right hand of God is power praise the Lord Amen. to him me I show his left hand and because he was in the cross and I would see this left hand and I saw nails that were going through that left hand they were over 40 and they were crushing me when a nail goes pa ni nyundo ni upanga ukatao kuwili kuwili ni nyundo pa upanga kutakatao kuwili kuwili those nails were huge I saw huge nails pa ilipo katika ilikuwa na kataro yangu pa so how can I forget and to whom has the hand of the Lord been revealed I was revealed one hand Thank God he did not reveal the other hand. Maybe if you, somebody sees the right hand of God, they would fall and die. I don't know. I don't know about the right hand of God. But all I know, the Bible says, is that the right hand of God is And always the right hand of God is ready to uphold anybody's right hand. Your hand must be right. When God upholds your right hand, it means there is no blood. Your generations... Your generational elders will not be speaking against you. And that is why Psalms 24 is not easy as you think like. It is not everybody that is carrying the blood of Jesus that will see, that will stand in the mountain and say, God, relent with your anger. And they say, and who is it? Who, is, who can stand in the mountain of the Lord? Who is qualified? Who can prevail in the mountain of the Lord? Who can prevail in the mountain of the Lord? You have heard Jesus. He prevailed because his blood was poured out of Calvary. And his blood was flowing. Oh, I feel the anointing that wants me to fall down. I feel the anointing today. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That wants me to fall down. I don't know. It is too heavy. Oh, Makaradasi. Sheketa. Katabada. Yes, into whom has the right hand or, or, the, or the hand of God been revealed? This is the hand of God. And we saw in the book of Revelation chapter 5, and it is saying in chapter 5, and nobody prevailed. But behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah prevailed. He qualified. Prevailing means he qualified. Nobody could qualify. Nobody in the earth under the earth, nobody in heavens could qualify to open the seven seals that were in one scroll that was written this way and that way. Nobody could qualify. But behold, the Lamb of God prevailed. He qualified. Jesus qualifies. You better listen to this message today. Because at the end of it, when we begin to pray, that yoke must break. Because the blood of the Lamb will, is the only one that will prevail over your situation. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth will prevail over your life, will prevail over that catastrophe. He will prevail over that allegation that Satan has against you. She qualified. Why? He was on the cross alone. Just like in Isaiah chapter 63 say, I gave myself victory. I, I triumphed over my enemies alone. I triumph over my enemies alone. And that is why in the same Isaiah 63 he says, and for he is mighty to save. He is mighty to save because salvation belongs to him. Why? He triumphed over the enemy, over darkness alone. Nobody helped him. Nobody helped him. No principality helped him. Not even God would help him. God left him alone. He left me alone because he loved you and me. He loved humanity. So that where we would have been condemned and completely destroyed because Satan brought sin to us. Satan was held down. He was a carrier of the Shekinah glory anointing. Satan was held down. He knows what is the glory of God. What is the presence of God. And Satan was held down. That is why he fights the people that are carriers of the anointing of Shekinah. And so he prevailed. 
and Jesus will prevail in a few minutes time Amen. when we will begin to to pray under the energy and the and the strength of the Holy Spirit you better be ready he will prevail over your circumstances Amen. hallelujah Amen. this is in the Lord revealed and to whom has the harm of the Lord been revealed I saw his right hand, his left hand, when the nails going through his left hand. Or oh, we shall grow up before him as a tender plant. For you shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of dry crown. As a root out of dry crown. He has no form or comeliness. And when we see him, there is no beauty. That we should desire him. That is what I saw. I saw you Jesus that night. And th that morning. There was no comeliness in you. There was no beauty. In fact I was so shocked that you looked like that. So slender. So slender. And tiny. It means he was not eating. He was not an eater of food. No wonder the Bible says. Every night his food is prayer. And if you are there, be prepared because I will ask the Lion of Judah to stay your prayer life. Because somebody is dead when they are praying, when yes. they are not praying. Somebody is dead when they are not praying. Yes. And, so, and if you cannot be like Rabboni, who was praying every night, and then something is wrong. It means Satan has projected the wicked altar of prayerlessness in your life. You ought to pray. Men always ought to pray without ceasing. That is why we pray in the courts of heaven like nobody's business. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. And so Jesus was not having any comeliness. He was a man full of sorrows and acquainted with, sorrow, with grief. That is what I saw. And we hid as it were out of faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. Surely he has, not, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. A man full of sorrow is what I saw. So sorrow. So sorrow that it I cannot describe. Undescribable. I don't know. It is, is it like putting another man in the cross? No. Something was just happening to him. And that it was so bad. Yet we esteemed him stricken. Smitten by God and afflicted. Smitten by God himself. He was left to suffer by God at that time. Smitten by God. Hallelujah. And afflicted. And if you are looking at me and you are like God. Why are you smiting me? Why are you punishing me? God can never punish you without, without an intent. Why have you left me? I, 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 am a, I walk in holiness. I am a good man. God will smite you as long as you are a son of God. God must discipline you. And anyone that is not disciplined by God is not a son to God. Jesus was smitten and was smitten by God. So you must go through the same affliction. And he was afflicted. Not only smitten by God, but he was also afflicted. <laughs> that is too deep. That is too deep. God allowed him to suffer. The one that was a carrier of the glory of God. The one that was seated always at the right hand of God. He was bruised, hallelujah, and for our iniquities. If you will not know, if you have not seen Jesus on the cross like the way I saw, you will not love Isaiah 53. It is like, I, I have heard of those things all the time. If God has not given you a revelation of Jesus on the cross, you will not esteem the word of God in Isaiah 53. And that is why those that have been revealed, those that have been revealed, hallelujah, will always humble themselves under Isaiah 53. Because he was a man that was totally smitten and stricken. And when I saw Jesus on the cross, hallelujah, smitten, stricken, and the Bible describes him in the book of Revelation chapter 5 as the Lamb of God. And at the center of everything is the Lamb of God. Just like a lamp of God, like a lamp of God that has been smitten, slain, his blood is flowing even up to now in the throne of judgment and mercy. 
it is flowing up to now it is flowing to the pit of hell it is blowing to our uh, humanity it is even flowing to my life into this ministry that smitten lamp of god that is just there and, and when heaven say behold the lamb behold the, the lion of the tribe of judah has prevailed everybody is waiting for the lion of the tribe of judah to to pre, to, to come out but what came is the one at the center point and what was that the lamb of god behold the lamb of god that takes away my sin and your sin what is that sin that is so difficult before god that you cannot take there is no sin that the lamb of god will not wash he will wash our sin because he qualified he was smitten and stricken he was even smitten by god he was afflicted by god according to his word and because of that he was given a name above all names that everything humbles before that name and every knee bows to that name and every tongue's bound before that name you must know that even you also have been called for a destiny you also must know that even you also have a purpose to fulfill in life you must know that according to this man miles monroe the richest place on planet at his graves and there are many graves that are still already having even now today fresh destinies and the great destinies that speak great destinies and great stars yet they did not fulfill their stars jesus christ of nazareth fulfilled his star in the star of jesus christ i saw 14 pointed star and this star was the brightest and it was the biggest and because it was the biggest he had to die for me and you die for me and you and so he stood against all the opposers of his star principalities and powers of darkness listen when god is addressing jesus christ as from the root of david <laughs> jesus christ as from the root of david i always wonder Revelation chapter 5 we have read that uh, behold hallelujah there is one that will prevail the lion of the tribe of Judah the lion of the tribe of Judah the lion of the tribe of Judah from the root of David an offspring of David it is very critical I was like Lord my sure mentioned it he said yes we are dealing with generational curses in this ministry and we go unto your root <laughs> I will go unto your root. Amen. Jesus, would you give me a glimpse of your root? Oh. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Lord Jesus, with the Shekinah glory anointing, I humble myself. I want to know what was happening in the root of David. What was happening, Lord, in the root of David? Why are you identified now and then as coming from the root of David? And you know the root of David is not David. It is generations of David. Generations of David until the last one. Whew. Whew. I can feel the pain in his heart. I see a man, an ancient man, so ancient, so ancient, I see a man. And I see a man seated down, and I see a man uh, that is not having, that is, the chest is full of, uh, uh, of, 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 hair, hair, hair. And I see Jesus Christ pointing, pointing at the, at the, at the, at the back. And I said, he said, this man, I shield this man and I deliver this man out of idolatry. And that is the root of David. I deliver this man 
which was the great 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 grandfather of the of, of king david i delivered this man out of idolatry in the i see fire burning burning in the back of the man And when I looked at the man, I see a man, and I look at him, he said, he's also having so many grounds, and so many grounds, and so many grounds. And Jesus is pointing his heart, and saying, I also delivered this man out of premature deaths. And I also delivered this man from heart failures, heart attacks. There was a heart and there was a hole in this man. I don't know, who is this man, Lord? Who is this man? Old, 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 old man. Old man. Great, great, great grandfather of King David. And Jesus is pointing at the right ear and saying, look at the ear. This man was having an older that was crying against his generation. Against his generation. Against his generation. Against his generation. Jesus if the, it was the greatest, the greatest, the greatest grandfather of King David. Who is this man? He said this man carried an anointing that was in his ears. It was, it is anointing is called the Adamic sin. Adamic covenants. Adamic oldest. Oh, shakala barado. Dibada kadabada. Di sonto la baraduse. Kashika Labraduse. Adamic sin, Adamic covenants, Adamic altars are crying through the right, the right ear of this man. And the Lord Jesus said and pointed at him and say, even his marriage was not working. This man, this man, his marriage was not working. The great, great, great grandfather of King David. I'm just in the studio. Don't think I went into do 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 do. I'm just seeing a marriage that was not working. And this man was bitter. The great, 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 great grandfather was very bitter. Was having a very bitter spirit. Very, very bitter spirit from the marine kingdom. Bitter marine kingdom. And Jesus said he was having sensitive marriages. Marriages. Marriages, bolikami, marriages. You see, I also delivered him. You see, guess what, my servant? Even this old man, if this old man that was carrying the Adamic sin, the Adamic anointing was carved. Satan has put carving here and carving here. Minyororo in the first door and minyororo in the first door. And the minyororo kina shikwa na mikono. And so this man was walking like a tortoise, a snail anointing, that he was suffering. And darkness went around this man. He said, can I ask you a question? I say, yes, Lord. He said, Adam, do you know about Adam? I say, Adam was our first father. What about Eve? He say, that is, that is the mother, the mother that gave birth to us. I say, what sin did they commit? Answer me, child. Answer me. What, did, what sin? Lord, they ate the tree. The fruit of the tree that was in the center. In the center of in the center of the garden of Eden. I say, and who is at the center right now of heaven? Who is at the center? I say, Jesus Christ. The blood of God that forgives every sin. I say, and who is, and who was at the center of that that garden? I say, the tree of evil and good. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I say, begin to look at that fruit. Begin to see Adam, adding uh, 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 Eve picking the fruit. And giving it to who? To who? Adam. Eating it and giving part of the fruit to who? Adam. To who? Adam. To Adam. 
He say many people are like that today. When they sin, and sin contaminates them, they create a molten calf, and they blame, and who, and who? And they blame, and they blame who? Adam started blaming the wife. If Adam stood and said, forgive my wife, God would have forgiven. But because Adam is the carrier of the kingly anointing, he is the carrier of the lion of the tribe of Judah anointing. Carriers of the vast anointing are, are carving the kingly anointing, which is the best setting anointing, just like Moses. Adam was a carrier of the kingly anointing, why he was a best setter. He was created by God and everything around him was God. Instead of him uh, hearing God and hearing what the Spirit of God was saying, he was a replica of God, he started eating also. And instead of repenting before God, he went naked. He put himself naked before even God naked him. And be because of that, he abdicated responsibility. And he said, that is a woman, blame him. Blame her. Many people are created molten calves. Just like in the time of Exodus chapter 32, the Bible says, and Moses was in the mountain 14 day, 40 days, 40 nights. He was there with, with Joshua. And Aaron, the brother, was left downstairs to take care of the sheep because he was a prophet. Listen to me. Ra Aaron qualified to take care of the sheep. He was quali qualified to take over the children of Israel. But he was having molten calves of excuses. And just as Adam was excusing himself and laying the excuses on this woman that was only created by one rib. And so Aaron also was laying the excuses upon the children of Israel. And he said, uh, it is this women, this is people. It is people that actually wanted this thing to be created. But the Bible says, him himself, him himself took the earrings and the golden earrings, took the earrings, threw it into the burning furnace fire. And it created a golden calf, in the molten calf. Up to this day, it is known as the Aaron's molten calf. I'm not castigating Aaron. I'm not castigating Adam. I am just preaching. And the Holy Spirit is taking me from place to place. Yes, Adam was sinful. The first foundation of sin that was committed by any human being was committed by our father, Adam. I do not know if he's in heaven. Only God knows. Maybe Adam humbled himself and repented before God. But I have not, I have not gone to heaven to see Adam there. So uh, that is not up to me. Go somebody is asking, is this guy in heaven? This guy that brought calamity all over us, all over humanity? Hear me. It is not Adam that you should blame. It is Satan, the deceiver, the accuser of brethren, says the Holy Spirit. It is not Aaron that you should blame. It is the deceiver of the brethren. What was in Aaron is, is a spirit called self. He was a prophet chosen by God. And so the brother, he translated everything that came out of the brother. So he translated very difficult mysteries and mysteries. And so you have not attained where Aaron was. I have not even reached there. Where he was interpreting, I mean, interpretations of God himself. When the brother would, would stammer, Aaron would pick the words. He would pick the words and translate and translate. Now hear this. I asked the Lord, why would this man do that? He say one, Aaron was having inferiority complex. Inferiority complex. Every time the Almighty God would reveal himself to the brother, and Aaron would look and say, this brother, this brother of mine, why is the Lord favoring him with all his anointing and power? Why is he walking with signs and wonders? Why is the spirit of great might upon him? Why is, is Vero and devils and demons listening to him? Why is the almighty God using him? Why can God use me like the way he's using him? Was it the part 
of Aaron thought that he wanted the brother to perish in the mountain? Because the people say this man has and this fellow may be dead in the mountain and we don't want him. What we want is our way. We want to worship our way. You want to go our way. And we want to do things our way. And so with this flesh, this Moses man is married. We are not married. We want to marry and we want to remarry. And we want to do abomin abominations because flesh is burning. A Satan entered into them. And the spirit of Babylon entered into them. A Jezebelic spirit took over. And everything was haywire. They were not only worshipping the molten innocent calf. But the Bible says they committed all manner of sodomy and all manner of wicked things openly. They drank and they got drunk and they, they were doing all manner of things. I believe they were also taking bang. I believe maybe Marijuana and Wasad and Marijuana was there. Why would people that know their God immediately turn into that? No wonder Satan has turned bodies into Marijuana bodies. And Satan has turned bodies into, into, into bang, whereby people go there and they are intoxicated, and sodomy takes over, yes. and, and all manner of sexual immorality, yes. impurity, perversion takes over. Mm. It means people are out of their minds, and they are out of their senses. Hear this. This is the message of the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the whole man. Revelations and revelations and revelations because the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Judah is upon me. And he's the one ministering to you now. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Aaron was full of inferiority. Aaron was also having one thing that was major the spirit of jealousy in homes. I am talking of homes now. Brother to brother, chillers. Sister to sister, chillers. Stepmothers to stepmothers, jealousy. Say brothers to say brothers, jealousy. Brothers against each other, they go for their necks. I mean, angles against angles. I mean, this is very serious. Very serious in the throat. In this time of COVID 19, homes are not homes. It is a place of gorilla battle. In most of these homes have been turned by Satan upside down into gorilla fall battle. People to have unity is not easy because Satan, the aggressor brethren, and make sure that homes do not have unity. Because where there is unity, where there is unity, Satan fears. And where there is no unity, God cannot command blessings. So financial constraints is causing men and women to look at God funnily. Some of them are angry with God. Why did you create me like this? Wasn't it a part of Aaron that was angry with God? That I am eloquent, I am smarter than this woman of God. I am very smarter than her. I am smarter than her. Why should you give her a kind of glory anointing? Who is she preaching to? I am smarter than I am more eloquent. I am a man. What is this woman telling us? Why is she a woman of God? After all, why is she an apostle? And, and was Jesus, did Jesus appointed apostles? You, you, you read your Bible very well. In the time of Jesus Christ, there were women apostles. Even after Jesus Christ went, praise the Lord, there were so many apostles and apostles. But these 12 were mature because they are the foundations of the new Jerusalem. Hallelujah. You're not reading your Bible well. Go and read the book of Acts. Hallelujah. With understanding. The Bible says, in the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, appointed men and women, appointed men and women, appointed men and women to fill the apostolic graces and to have the prophetic mantles. Hallelujah. Amen. Including Tabitha. Just a quickest one. You can understand that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the same spirit of God. is the one appointing the weaker vessels. The weaker vessels, why? I will tell you why in a few minutes time. I will tell you why in a few minutes time. But let me tell you. It was 300,000 to only 300 people. 300,000 men to 300 people during the time of, 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 of Gideon. And here this, this is what I saw about 300 people. They were not having skills of battle. They were amateurs. They were amateurs. And so these 300, the Lord opened my spiritual eyes and say they were amateurs. They were not used to battle. Including Gideon was not. Eh? <laughs> Gideon was not. 
<laughs> Revelation is too deep even for me. It's only 300 people, 300 men that qualified. Even now, God is in that situation whereby He's depositing His knowledge, His wisdom, His grace to unqualified people. I never qualified for kind of glory. For information, I never qualified. It is by His grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. He knows why. He knows why? why we are back into the lion of the tribe of Judah. And God is in the business of creating people that will have the same spirit, the kingly spirit. Amen. One of them was, was Daniel today. The spirit of God asked us, why was Daniel given to die in the lion's den? Why not in the burning furnace? Why weren't the three Hebrew boys mm. not given the lion's den mm. and not in the furnace? Yes. And the Holy Spirit responded and said, Daniel was a leader with a base setting anointing and he was having a kingly mm. anointing. The rest were breasts. And that is why I am speaking to you that is looking at me in the house. And you are so jealous about your brother. You're fighting over your brother. Look, your destiny is also great. But your destiny is your destiny. And you cannot leave your brother's destiny. Aaron wanted the brother's destiny. And that is why when the, the, the people of Israel asked him, Satan knew what he was looking for. To be idolized. To be also praised. Mm. And this rivalry in homes, in families, brother against brother. Eh? Wives with the husband. Because maybe the wife is having a lot of property. And the husband is a poor man. And so this rivalry is very deep. It is what came out of Aaron that was created. A molten, innocent, molten calf. Mutoto wa ngombe. Ile amesalivo tu hivi. Virgin. defiled. That molten calf. It is not a huge, big molten calf. It was that mutote angombe. Just the way I have seen the Lamb of God. Very tiny. Tiny. It is, ni, ni kama mesaliwa tu three days. Only. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Where am I going with this Holy Spirit? I am just trying to explain to you that your generation sinned because from the Adamic curse, from the Adamic curse, the foundational curse started. That is why the Lord has opened my spiritual eyes and I will see the great, great grandfather of King David. And if you look at King David, surely King David was struggling with the spirit of, of lust of the highest order. And in, in, in Psalms 51, the Bible says, in the King David, Hallelujah. Repented and cried for the mercy of God. It's not the mercy of God. He turned to the throne of judgment. And it is a court of appeal. To be precise, it is not the high courts of heaven. It is the king that murdered. He murdered Uriah. And Uriah means Shekinah glory. It means the carrier of the lights of God. And so when he murdered Uriah, hmm, landmark, a landmark case, stood against him in heaven and on earth. A soil was picking blood in King David's hands. Blood in his hands. And so the righteous right hand of God would not touch him again. The man that was a carrier of the Shekinah glory became darkness. When he just murdered, the first of all, he coveted. And so this Aaron man who was a prophet also coveted. And that is why he could not prevent the children of Israel from sinning. And when his brother asked, always the brother knew this guy gives excuses, but he covered him. He knew him. He gives excuses and blames. Excuses and blames. And if you are a parent and you are listening and you are giving excuses and you are somebody that blames others, please hear what? Aaron lost his sons. He lost his sons later on. It's because of the same blames and excuses. His brother tried to resurrect him, tried to, to help him open his spiritual eyes and physical nothing. He lost his sons. 
And maybe that was a way out of God rescuing this man that helped his brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you there and you're abdicating responsibility? You're not taking responsibility. If somebody lies, somebody else has caused it. It is certain. This is a molten calf. That innocent calf that was worshipped. It is you that it is what was in Aaron that was desiring to, to be worshipped. Innocently, innocent calf means this man works with a certain kind of de degree, but just a mild worship. Divination. Divination. That thing that is yearning for you to be worshipped by human beings, to be lifted by human beings, is the molten calf that was in Aaron, and it is the molten calf in people. Molten calves can be generationally transferred. It has molten calf that makes you so so fighting with others. Everywhere you fight, everywhere you must have a conspiracy. You always find yourself in a gangster, with gangsters. You always find yourself with hooligans. You you find yourself with hooligans. You find yourself with hooligans. It is a molten calf in you that is crying for exaltation, idolatry, molten calf. And what was in Queen Varsity was also a molten calf of spirit of familiarity, the spirit of familiarity. It was a kingly spirit. And that is why Memukan could not bring him bring her down. And, and the, the leadership of Israel could not bring her down to come in respect and honor King David when King David was naked worshiping God. Are you there? You are a woman and you are a wife. And most of the time, you know, you know, there's nothing we do not know about our husbands. But at a vulnerable time, when this man is not giving you money, when this man is is being sacked, that is the time you mocked and you, you you're like this man is useless. Molten calf. Molten calf is called the spirit of familiarity. You're forgetting that this man is your cover. Any woman married, this Head is not your head. It's the truth. Whether you like it or not, if you are dishonoring your husband, you are a headless chicken. Headless chicken. Who may cut off a spiritual realm. Satan will attack you like this. Like this. And before long, you will bring idolatry. You go into witches. Because you are carrying the Jezebelic spirit. Molten calf. What is a molten calf that is making you not a good wife? Not a good husband. And the molten calf that was in Queen Varsity was mockery of the highest order. Familiar spirit. It's nothing I do not know about this man. Perhaps even he was lying with other men. Who knows? Why wasn't he ready to lie down? It is a molten calf. It's a spirit of self. She was replaced. And she was cast. Hello. 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 Are you getting me? Yes. It's a curse to walk under the cover of a man that is anointed as your husband. It is a very serious curse. It's a very serious curse. This kind of anointing that you see revelation and revelation in the spirit of wisdom is only possible when you humble yourself under an authority of a husband. There is no way you can have a kingly anointing and not that man not having a kingly anointing. It is not possible. Why? Because God calls you with a kingly anointing when you are together as wife and husband. And what you have is what your husband has. And what he has is what you have. Because you together have been yoked together and you are sharing the same bond in spiritual world. What you carry, your husband carries. What he carries, you carry. So you are not separable. Arise when you see sin being done in a home. Please don't say it is my wife. Don't say it is my husband. Don't abdicate responsibility. Take the blame and say, God, it's me. I wronged you. It is true. It is my wife. But please, can I take the blame? Can I take the blame? Can I just take the blame? And please, God, I repent in trust, in spirit and in truth. It is getting nasty and deeper. Why is it getting nasty and deeper? Because many people that are looking has, have, are receiving the oracles anointing. 
a certain is 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 having it very rough. I had heard before I preached him trying to pull me from very far with idolatry, and I was like, I'm resisting you, Satan. I am resisting you. I do not know what I'm going to preach, but the spirit of God has taken over. Amen. What is your molten calf? If they throw you into a fanning furnace, what is your molten calf? Hear this. This is wisdom. In the four king, in the four Daniel, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. And last night I was in the lion's den. A certain was trying as a lion to pursue me throughout. Pursue me throughout. Until there was a wall. And I was like, God, this lion did not eat me. If they take you, and the woman of God said, you know what, woman of God, I also saw myself, and there was a fourth man, and this was Jesus Christ. I say, bingo. I say, bingo. God is ready to bring out the ironic anointing <laughs> that is not messy, and the mosaic anointing that is also not messy. Hallelujah. Amen. When they threw him to the lion's den, Amen. What happened? What happened when they threw him to the lion's den? The angel of the Lord closed the mouth of the lion. Hallelujah. Amen. If they threw you to the lion's den, even now, what would happen? Are you also in the lion's den? And most of you have been rescued by the lion of the tribe of Judah. Because most of us, if you can just think twice that God has rescued you from very painful situations. Yes. From very bitter situations. Yani, umenyakuleo kutoka mudomo wa simba nyoka shetani. Umenyakuleo kutoka ile ukonjo chusi karibu ikuwe. Inaito COVID-19. Na wengine wamenyakuleo kutoka tumboni wa shetani mwenye. <laughs> shetani kupasuliwa. No, no waka kutabika. So with, with, with Daniel that was having the chingly anointing thrown into the, to the, to the dens of lion, not on the fire because that is a small taste for him. He was a leader. He has to face leaders. He has to face lions. In those lions, Jesus is saying they were not normal lions. <laughs> you are very hungry. What was in that lion? You are very hungry. They were not only hungry. The lions that were waiting to crush, to crush Daniel were man eaters lions. They were drinkers of human flesh and the eaters of human eaten, eaters of human flesh and drinkers of human blood. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm getting revelation. Just as the walls of Jericho were not normal. And so those lions were not normal. They were satanic in their nature very dangerous satanic mm -hmm. they would get hold of you in fact they would get hold of you from very far na na kurarua mtu kwisha na kupa na kufona kwa sababu they were having luciferous spirits mm -hmm. the nature of satan in them was the ravenous the ruthless eh the the, the black dusty lions during the time of Nebuchadnezzar in the, in, the, in the kingdom of Babylon, lions were eating human flesh and drinking what? Human blood. human blood. Why? They were idolatry of the highest nature. And they were offering human sacrifices. Oh. And human, and they were too wicked. They were devil worshippers. Oh, That's why Nebuchadnezzar, even if he repented, the same molten calf would enter into him. Pride. Even if Nebuchadnezzar was just uh, uh, seven months and seven days and seven whatever, uh, eating grass, uh, he still the spirit of pride still was still in him. Molten calf. And so, and for the three Hebrew boys, after acknowledging the God of Israel, the Supreme God, Elohim, Jehovah, uh, the, uh, 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 this is called Adonai. Yahweh the great I am and we call him Shekinah. They were held into the fanning furnace. The Bible says even the people, all the people that were pushing him down, pushing them down, they were burned beyond recognition. 
they were banned. Isn't it true? It's true. Their enemies were banned. Yes, they all died. And even later on, the enemies that pushed the king, the, uh, da Daniel, I mean Governor Daniel, down there, they were all slaughtered they and were, destroyed. Yes, their families. <laughs> slaughtered and destroyed. It's just that when you depend on God and when you let your battles be won by God, God will fight for you. Mm, He's going to fight you. Yes. That battle that you have waited God to fight for you, He's going to fight for you. He's going to fight for you. And I know you like that. And you're saying amen. 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 You're saying amen and it's amen. true. And so, what came out of that burning varnish was that fourth man. Mm. His name is Emmanuel. Mm. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Even before Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born, mm. he was there. Mm. He was there. there. He was the fourth man, the defender. The defender as a man, he appeared. As a lion of the tribe of Judah, hallelujah. Mm. The angels closed them out. His angel closed them out. Praise the Lord. Amen. How wounded are you? Are you wounded like Jesus Christ on the cross? How sorrowful are you uh, that you can take the sin of all humanity and everything? Jesus was filled with sorrow because he was going to face three hours of doom. Darkness, Satan in him and Satan in him as darkness. He overcame it. He made sure that the light in him was just like consuming darkness and he fought with darkness and he cried. That is the time God left him. He left him for darkness to take over. And he cried, Eloi, Eloi, Lamak Sabachthani. He was bruised by an actress. He was chastised for our peace. Hallelujah. Amen. And by his strife, he, we are shield. Praise the Lord. Amen. It doesn't matter the propaganda or the conspiracy of the enemy. Yes. He has already taken over. His anointing has been released in the courts of heaven. Yes. It's being released right now in a few minutes. Right over the TV. And you know, you're waiting patiently and you're like, woman of God, this is too deep. It is so deep, my sister. It is so deep, my brother. It's so deep to know, for you to know that you lose your cover as, 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 as a wife when you are not honoring your husband. Mm. There is idolatry of the worst nature. Mm. Idolatry of the worst nature. Humble yourself before him. Amen. Don't ask the Lord to humble you. It is wise. Humble yourself before God. Hallelujah. Amen. Adamic sin was what is was in the blood of King David. The great great grandfather you've had was very lustful. Mm. And you look at the King David, the same lust of written in, in him. Yes. There was blood that would make him even as a man that was operating in, in the highest Shekinah glory would kill. Mm. The Bible says he killed and he killed a man that was known as a carrier of the of the Shekinah glory. Uriah. If, the, if it happened to King David, God is calling you today mm. to reasoning. Hallelujah. He's calling you to reasoning. Shikana. And that what you are sharing is not normal. It's not no normal. More. And what you are sharing is all scriptural. Yes. And you come to the courts of heaven, it is highly defended. And most of the time we have been putting the video, defended scriptures. And this Bible is half judgment. And this Bible is half mercy. Yes. This Bible is hard judgment and this Bible is have mercy. In fact, the Spirit of God is telling me every book in the Bible carries mercy and judgment. <laughs> it is now getting worst. Getting worst. Can I tell you what is happening? There is an accusation in heaven now. Satan has gone ahead to accuse. And I see Satan standing before the final judge right now. And Satan is accusing this ministry. And he is accusing me in particular. Hello. Hello. Jesus, why is Satan accusing me? He say it is Uriman to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Accusing me. And this is what he's saying. Even Moses. <laughs> Why is a woman of God preaching like that? Even Moses was my servant. And Moses was carrying the blood of anger. 
a certain is accusing me before the courts of heaven even now and he said even you apostle Miriam you get angry and I agree with you Satan it is true but today you are seeing the blood of Jesus blood of you Jesus. cannot see the blood of Jesus see the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. we entered here through the blood of Jesus yes. and we entered here through the forgiveness of the blood yes. and when he talk about the blood of the lamb it is not the absence of the lion of the tribe of Judah when we talk about the lion of the tribe of Judah we talk about this blood yes. <laughs> And when you talk about the Lamb of God, we talk about this blood. Yes. Now, Satan, what do you have to say? <laughs> I hear the Father taking a hammer. It is finished. <laughs> <laughs> it is finished. The Bible says, in the same book of Daniel, that those who know their God, mm. those who know their God, yes. will do extremely extraordinary exploits, mighty works of God. Amen. Those who know their God. God. For those who know their God are humble people. They know the power of God. Mm. I know the lion of the tribe of Judah. Mm. As I was also that April waiting on him again, he came as a lion. And he came as a white glorious lion. And he is always, when he comes always, it has to be where I am sleeping, he is watching over me. So glorious. And I was turned into a two-year-old child. I would go and put my hands in his wool because I would not touch him with my normal, my normal body. I was turned into a two-year-old child and and I went touching touching him touching his 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 feathers and his wool and he was smiling as a father as a father and the funniest thing that he was having three eyes I was like you having three eyes lion of Judah he say yes I say what are they for he say one is for the father one is for the son and one is for the Holy Spirit I say thank you Lion of Judah. You, I played with him and with him and when I went back again it was a vision, open vision, sign a subway. When, when I left him I was like my hands were turned into the lion and my feet were turned into the lion and I knew I was not the same again. And I stayed there for long for many 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 hours because the anointing was too much. The father visited me in form of the lion of the tribe of Judah. And I know now why the third eye belonged to the father. Because I saw him as a father. Remember, where there is a tri the lion of the tribe of Judah, the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Judah must be in him, the Holy Spirit. That is a must. And his spirit must be in him. But when he looks like a father, there is three eyes. I would see the three eyes and I would touch him. And the lion of the tribe of Judah, right in the altar, I normally spend my time there because I say, Lord, I know this is a service place. And when the battle is very tough, I say, whatever you can, I better in this, be in this place. You burn me alive or I just remain here. In the one day, I saw right from the heavens, praise the Lord, Amen. not from the heavens first, I saw a normal lion. And when I saw a normal lion, and, and he, he, he brought his hands, when he brought his hands, I touched his hands, I began to play with the hands. And he, was, he looked like a normal lion. All of a sudden, he pulled his hands, and I saw him glorified, so so high in the heavens i saw only one roar and he was roaring now as the lion that was having three eyes so glorious so white one roar and i saw principalities scampering for safety and they were melting like wax none lived i was also melting like wax i did not die to but the principalities were destroyed you only need one roar of the lion of the tribe of you, not two roars. And when he roars upon your enemies, just one roar. I was 
shocked. And for hours I remained like that. I say, oh Lion of Judah, you almost also consumed me. I've seen this God as a consuming fire. But as a Lion of the tribe of Judah, I love him so much. I see him in almost every service. And when I see him, he comes in a way that I always see. Every service. When I sing Lion of Judah, Simba wa Judah, Simba wa Judah, he comes down. What you honor will always happen to you. The anointing you honor will, will you will receive. Amen. If you honor the angelic host anointing, it will come to you. Amen. I honor the lion of the tribe of Judah anointing, but also because I'm a woman, and I want him to cover me, to protect me. And, and I honor him so much because he does, he protects. Amen. This nation, the lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring. In this nation, in Kenya, the lion of the tribe of Judah is roaring. This is the time of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. Why do I say so? Because, number one, COVID-19. The Lord before COVID-19 and uh, before the locusts that happened, and you can go and check. I said it in YouTube. Before the locusts. The, the, the Lord Jesus Christ, as I was also waiting, so waiting so much for him, and I saw this vision. I saw the heavens open. And when I saw the heavens open, I saw written in the heavens, epidemics from the center of heads epidemics sorry from heads center heads is hell and and the epidemic was so cancerous and i felt like they were consuming me and consuming my bones i say oh lord and they looked so cancerous and cancerous before covid 19 and that is the first vision the second vision after seeing that I saw the second vision I saw chariots of fire galloping in the heavenly realm galloping in the world surrounded in, angels surrounded by chariots of fire galloping 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 and they were bombing and bombing and bombing and bombing I say God I have seen literally the chariots of fire. It's a reality. And this is the third vision. After that vision, the following vision I saw, I saw the third vision. It is in YouTube. I saw the lion of the tribe of Judah. So glorious. Roaring not once. Roaring not twice. Roaring and roaring and roaring. Wah! Wah! I was like God I only saw you one row why are you roaring like this lion of children what is this battle that defeats one row what is this battle that is defeating one row and I was so shocked I was so shocked in the third and the fourth vision finally happened and this is what I saw I was not coming here to talk about this. But I am led by the Holy Spirit. And I am humble to you Holy Spirit. And I salute you. Chingli. Spirit of God. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Mm. <clears throat> oh make me cry. Thank you Holy Spirit. And so. I saw the third vision. And this is where. I want you to be very keen. The fourth vision, sorry, I saw the fourth vision. The first vision I said, I saw the first vision. Epidemics from the center of hell, and they were cancerous. The second vision, I saw chariots of fire, bombing, bombing. The third vision, I saw the lion of the tribe of Judah roaring so many times. Roaring not once, not twice. Roaring so many times in the heavens. And the last vision, 
I saw something that up to now I'm like a God. Have mercy on me. I saw Africa on fire. And calves on fire. I saw Africa on on fire. And the fire was was burning from the blood of Jesus. Africa on flames on fire. Thank you, Lord. Africa on fire. Thank you, Lord. And I heard the Spirit of God saying, Africa on fire. Africa on fire. And the Lord told me, this tree will take place. We have seen right now the center epidemics of hell is still taking place. We have had the waves of COVID-19. And it is becoming stronger and stronger. And it is like cancerous. It eats the lungs. It eats and consumes the lungs like a cancer. I do not know how many diseases are ahead of us. What I know is that it will take the chariots of fire to extinguish this center of heads epidemics. And what I know, it will take the lion of the tribe of Judah, not to roar once, not to roar twice, to extinguish and destroy these diseases. And what will bring the lion of the tribe of Judah down is people that have his anointing. Amen. We are talking of an invitation that is real. I have it. I have it. I see him. I cannot see him and not have his anointing. Amen. Praise the Lord. The lion of the tribe of Judah overcame the powers of darkness and human spirits. How? He prevailed. And still he's going to prevail even now for you. And he will prevail for generations. Amen. He will surely prevail for Africa. Amen. That fire that was in Africa is Africa aflame. Africa on fire. It is revival, revival fire that will hit Africa. Amen. That is why you get us praying for Africa. Krabodusi kadaba. Kuradisha kalabradusi. The Holy Spirit has say it has ended. Hallelujah. Please begin to touch the screen. Ask the child, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lamb of God to locate your sin. Begin to cry for mercy and begin to ask Him to forgive you. I will pray for very short prayers. But these short prayers, ha, it is a lion of Judah. Praise the Lord. Get you ready. Get your heart ready. Get your very heart ready. What is the issues of your heart? What is in your head when you wake up? What is in your heart? Are there negative things? It doesn't matter how you look. You are beautiful. Praise the Lord. Amen. And somebody is waiting. Woman of God, I want to remind you. If they throw you on fire, what will come out of you? The Shekinah glory anointing. The Ark of the Covenant. Amen. Menorah will come Amen. out of the furnace. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I can produce what I have. Not a molten calf. I have grown, gone through the fire. I know it. For me to have the mosaic anointing. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have gone through the fire. I say a case scenario. Yes. Bezalel. Moses was given. Moses was told. Moses. If you are going to throw this into fire. You don't have one spirit. There's a man that is having a great spirit. I know Moses, you have the biggest spirit of wisdom. Spirit of great wisdom was full in him. That is why when he laid hands, Bible does not contradict itself. He laid hands on Joshua and Joshua got the spirit of wisdom. Mentally the spirit of wisdom. Not revelation. But Joshua was having the spirit of revelation. Why? He tended to the Ark of the Covenant. He was tending to the Ark of the Covenant. But Bisalel, a man called Bisalel was having the spirit of great wisdom in the great revelation. revelation. And so he was told for you to create menorah and for you to create the Ark of the Covenant, give Bisalel the cold. So cold, like this huge, like this, maybe more than this Bible. Bisalel took it and said, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, like John Mark. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there here goes the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Spirit rushed. The Creator 
rushed that holy spirit that was hovering around the fire and around the the water he rushed he the spirit of innovation rushed and created who menorah it created the ark of the covenant this signs you are seeing here praise the lord Amen. and the one that you normally see burning in the altar it was created oh <laughs> i see jesus congratulating me in my hand i say lord are you serious i say you are my servant congratulations Amen. hallelujah Amen. if you are you have the lion of the tribe of judah if they throw you to that furnace you'll produce the lion of the tribe of judah Amen. not a golden calf Amen. not a molten calf i'm not saying we are not righteous it is just that some of us have graces to repent the lord Amen. we repent every day Amen. and we cry to god more than you Amen. if there's somebody that needs prayers in this nation it is me Amen. and in the whole of the world it is me Amen. i know why you pray for me yes. hallelujah yes. it is not false humility it's a truth mm. i need prayers yes. from my heart yes. if somebody it is says somebody that fearfully mm. fearfully needs prayers is this woman that covers herself <laughs> in the lion of the tribe of Judah. Mm. Eh? Yes. He, so frail not to handle a situation by myself. Mm. So frail not to handle any situation by myself. I want the lion of the tribe of Judah to protect me. I want him to, to prevail over your situation mm. and say he has prevailed. Yes. Behold the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Amen. He has prevailed over your life. Amen. He will prevail. And so begin to repent before we cry, Lion of Judah. You will prevail. Lift your hands up, the rest of us. You will prevail. Prevail, Lord, over every circumstance. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. I beheld him as the Lamb of God, so broken, so, so tiny. And I cried, you look so tiny. I say behold the lamb of god that takes away the sin of the world i heard the voice i say this is so tiny and i saw blood rushing out of his neck behold the lamb of god that takes away your sin he can forgive any sin jesus of nazareth can forgive any sin he can forgive the sin of rebellion and stubbornness he can forgive the sin of of anger in the spirit of fear what is the molten calf you have created? Yes. He can take away that sin. Yes. In, in, in Moses commanded instant judgment. Yes. And, and they killed all that were having molten calves. Oh. Those that refused to be on the side of the Lord. Yes. They were already having molten calves. They were enjoying their lives. And they were having their husbands and wives. Yes. And, 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 and their men friends and all that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, Jesus. these molten calves, yes, wherever you are from, touch, just turn the screen. Touch the screen. The lion of the tribe of Judah will roar over them. Yes. For this battle, you don't need to fight. Yes. Gideon was told, you don't need to fight this battle. All you need is to worship God and call on the lion of the tribe of Judah to roar. Yes. They are not going to continuously pursue you, mock you, maim you, devile you. The Lord wants you also to pursue them, overtake, kill, to pursue them, overtake, kill, kill, overtake, kill, pursue. And the Lord wants you to be restored forever. Yes. Forward restoration ever. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes. Lion of Judah, roar. Say roar, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lion of Judah, roar. Continue. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lion of Judah, roll. Say, roll, Lord. Roll, Lord. Begin to pray in tongues now. Begin to pray in tongues. Roll. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lion of Judah, prevail. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lion of Judah, shield. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lion of Judah, roll! Oh, deliver, deliver! 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 
Shikaina! Shikaina! Lion of Chidaro! Lion of Chidaro! Lion of Chidaro! You have prevailed. You will prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every situation, every knee is bending down. Every calamity is bending down. Idolatry is bowing down. For wherever you are, you are indemnable. You crushing every idolatry. Let them melt like wax. Every mountain is melting before you. Mountains of idolatry melt like wax. Mountains of witchcraft melt like wax. Roar over those homes. Where Satan is hovering, roar over those homes. Roar over those bedrooms. Where Satan is hovering, roar lion of Judah. Roar over our situations. For you are God of impossibility. Show yourself to your children today. Open those brittle eyes. This Wednesday, I touched a woman because the lion of Judah told me, touch her eyes. She came from Nakuru and she saw Jesus and she saw the supernatural. Yes. And the greatest thing she saw about this ministry is Jesus said, Restoration forward. Amen. Restoration forward. Restoration. I want you to touch your eyes. I am opening those eyes for the glory of God. If your eyes will not be open for the glory of God, it will not open for the glory of God. Yes. So that you, you will not go back. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I see certain accusing. You see, there she goes. There she goes. Literally, I see certain accusing. There she goes. She has no right to open my people's eyes. <laughs> Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Those servants of God that are touching the screen, look, there's something about them. They have acknowledged the Shekinah. Yes. <coughs> so why are you opening their spiritual eyes? Yes. You say, why? Why? I have the key of David. And I open their spiritual eyes. Yes. And you will never shut their spiritual yes. eyes. You see? You see? You see? You see now? You see final judge. I told you she will not listen. I open your spiritual eyes with the key of David. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of <laughs> Great things are happening. Great things are happening. Yes. The Lord is opening your spiritual eyes. Wafungwe macho sawa sakiro. Macho sawa sakiro. Macho sawa sakiro. Yes. There are those that are wounded. There are people that are wounded in their verge of, of de dying. The spirit of death has been parted. Yes. The lion of Judah has prevailed. Prevail. 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 No premature death. No premature death. There are people who oh, I see the enemy accusing me. Accusing me. But listen, I'm not going to listen to you, Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Final judge. Take care of him. Yes. Take care of him. I have a right. You give me Shekinah glory. Yes. He cannot stop it. Yes. Shekinah glory is your presence everywhere. In yes. the cameras everywhere. Yes. Shekinah glory. Lion of Judah rule. Oh. Lion of Judah rule. Oh. Lion of Judah rule. Oh. Oh. Hebrews 4 12. Yes. Hebrews 4 12. Yes. The Lord rebuke you Satan. Yes. You let him them go out of poverty. Yes. Every head is epidemic. That has come from the pit of hell yes. and descend the heartbeat of yes. Satan in hell yes. is crushed, crushed over your life. Is crushed. crushed. COVID 19 is crushed. crushed. COVID 19 is crushed. crushed. If you be terrified because of COVID 19, God say, I will terrify you, my servant. And that is why you should not be terrified. But if you terrify them, I will also terrify them. In the name of Jesus, yes. every satanic altar, yes. every satanic activity that has terrified your life, yes, caused you fear, be terrified. Be terrified. Hebrews 4, 10, be terrified. Be terrified. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that altar that's sitting on your chest, that altar of Satan, I see Satan very mad. Yes. I see Satan very mad. Very mad, <laughs> you know, prophetic seers. I see certain very mad. 
It is okay. That all that, that is sitting on your chest is rebuilding. Hebrews 4, 12. Yes. Hebrews 4, 12. Yes. Hebrews 4, 12. Yes. For the word of God is living. Yes. Over you, Satan. For the word of God is active. For the word of God is powerful. For the word of God is sharper. Any two edged sword of your exercises. Any two acid world sword of your marginis. If any two edged sword of your molten calf. Those molten calf are receiving the grace of destruction. Every molten calf in your life is receiving the grace of your destruction. Yes. So it's in power of my life. Sin power. Sin power of every molten calf. Sin power. Be crushed. Be crushed. Be crushed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, weep not, O Sion. Weep not again. For your battle has ended. Shekinah! And they stand for no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Are you there and you feel God has, has forgiven you? Receive the freedom. Are you there and you say God has given you uh, an, an, a testimony? Don't take him for granted. Those, those, those phones. Hallelujah. Amen. Those phones yes. send your testimony. Yes. It is not for human being to send your testimony. To see your testimony. When you send your testimony, angels pick the testimony. In the Lion of Judah can only consume your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Send your testimony to those phones. Acknowledge God. That it is God that has done this. Amen. It is the Lion of Judah that has prevailed yes, yes. over that situation. Amen. Touch the screen. Hello, see, there are people in hospital that are touching the screen of their phones that are on YouTube. Lion of Judah, raw. In the name of you, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, prevail, Lord. Prevail. 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 Lion of Judah, raw. 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 Oh. Let your blood flow your blood in hospitals. Yes. Let your blood flow your blood in homes. Let your blood flow your blood in families. Yes. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Hallelujah to the Amen. Lamb of God. Unchangeable God. Reliable God. Yes. What can I say? All glory, yes. all honor, and adoration belongs to you. Yes. You have touched the screen. And you've received your instant breakthroughs. You receive your miracle. You've been healed. Send the testimony. Don't wait for tomorrow. You have also touched the screen. Hallelujah. And you've been touching these screens. And God has. You've seen the hand of God. The hand of God. Hallelujah. You have seen the hand of God. Which is a righteous hand of God. Healing you. Delivering you. Giving you peace. Testify. Just like he has it, I have seen the hand of God. God will never bring the whole body unless he brings just his hand first. And when God brings his hand, testify. When you testify, you are acknowledging God. And the Almighty God will bring all the breakthroughs and all the testimony. All testimony is for the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he is he's, 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 he's trained to eat. He partakes of your testimony. He eats of your testimony. And together, in this ministry, we say, may the Lord bless you. For the glory of God, hallelujah. Distance is not a barrier. May the Almighty God run suck heaven and bring the best for your life. May the power of glorification visit you. May the Lion of the tribe of Judah fight for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.